But yeah, I'm here at the um, dumpster of the YMCA. And I was here a little while ago and they had loaded this thing full of pallets. But I don't know if you guys see a little indicator that Scrap Vulture would talk about. A little wire sticking out. Oh yeah. kinds of stuff in here. Cables and wires and controllers. Ah. All kinds of stuff in here. Cables and wires and controllers. Ah. That's all trash. Yeah, there's a nice indicator here sticking out. All right, I could be here for a little bit. Yes, that's for sure. I'm curious what's in this Hitachi. Do you think it's just the case? <gasps> a little bit of red gold right here. That's what I'm talking about. It's a nice Saturday morning. So, <laughs> yeah, I found some shock absorbers. Actually, I was with my friend Rick at uh, Lowe's, and at the Lowe's front door, there's, there's four shock absorbers sitting there. So I uh, asked the lady, I'm like, are they there for a reason? She's like, no, they've been there for a little while. Why don't you come take them? Then uh, I think these are tent poles. Not really sure. But I think that's what they are. Okay, well, I'm going to park and, uh, and get to work. To start this job, first thing I'm going to do is grab my uh, my strong magnet that's on a rope here. I can get. So that's definitely one of my tools. And then one of my grabbers, a little scrap vulture grabber, he mailed that to me. And he's a little stick that I made with some JB weld and a hook. And this is the end of a of a ski pole I found in the dumpster. So, yeah, I'm just gonna start grabbing. I I didn't bring my my head cam, so yeah, it's gonna take me a little bit to get this stuff out. So um, I'll fire this back up when I get some stuff out, and uh, we'll see what we have. Okay, it wasn't as much stuff as I thought, but it was a lot of wires. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is. It is super heavy. I'm not even sure if it's magnetic. If it's not, it's 15 pounds of, of aluminum. No, oh, it's magnetic. It's steel. So. I'm also curious about this guy. Most of the stuff is just wires and some steel pieces and you know, just some other stuff that's kind of keep lifeable. But I'm hoping it's not just nails in this guy. It might be just nails, but I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. Hey, there's a drill in there. Oh, with some bits, all kinds of stuff. All right, so it is a Hitachi drill, just no, um, no battery pack to it. Okay. Nice. 
not bad for a, my very first dumpster on this Saturday. What else? Um, yeah, that's not even a ride. That's a uh, DSL. These massive hinges. Yeah, they are magnetic because that's how I pulled them out. Was that? Then I obviously you guys remember me get that piece of copper. I tried getting this one piece out. This was in the dumpster, and I took my magnet to it, and nothing. But it looks rusty. And it's really shiny. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a file to it. All right. It might be copper with just this outer. Yeah. There's my file. Where you be, file? There you are. I'm kind of curious. All right, that's stainless steel then. Yep. So it's not copper, but you know it's uh definitely. I don't know. Stainless steel is what thirty-five cents a pound, so this is. It's not quite a pound, half pound, so worth more than that stuff so it'll go in my stainless steel pot picked up a couple pallets they were just laying there yeah pallets and scrap don't mix but as I was throwing away my breakfast wrappers there's a motor and some metal what else is in here? It's got me thinking. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my magnet, pull that thing out. Like, hopefully I can. Better I'll use uh, the hook, Captain Hook. Okay, so out of this dumpster, just got that ceiling fan, the metal from the ceiling fan. Looks like some electricians were there, had to replace that box and the motor that comes with it. So. So those fan blades, um, my scrap yard pays 30 cents a pound for the zinc. So these things are actually made of cast zinc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those zinc pieces off of the, off the fan blade and then just toss the fan blade. <laughs> at 30 cents a pound um, these things add up pretty quick and you know me I'm not a big fan of, of the, the cheaper stuff but you know what these things will add up fast I got a bunch of fan blades at my house I'm gonna go ahead and take apart so yeah check your scrapyard zinc uh, goes for 30 cents a pound at mine so, anyway another beautiful day it's it's colder than it looks Definitely beautiful. And it is a beautiful day. There's people out there. My neighbor's cooking. And uh, anyway, I wanted to apologize to you guys. Um, after I got some really good comments uh, from uh, some viewers on that uh, video from six months ago, um, I was wrong, you know. In, in my recovery program, in that 10th step, it's a really awesome step of the 12 steps of recovery. It says that I'm to continue to take personal inventory, which is the, the fourth step, but I'm supposed to continue to take personal inventory and when I'm wrong, promptly admit it. So I am admitting it. I was wrong for, um, for not editing that video properly, but even more so, I shouldn't have been in a place where I would need to edit anyway. Um, so, yeah, even though it wasn't... Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to own up on it. it. It was my fault. I'm just going to own own the, the issues. So I took that video down. Um, and I also took down the video that I put up a couple of days yesterday um, that I was wrong. Because you know what? I wasn't wrong. YouTube was right. The commenters were right. The people that flagged the video was right. There was some stuff on there. Uh, even though it was 
you know, some people consider it small or minor or benign or no big deal. You know what? It is a big deal. And I'm going to look at that. I'm going to acknowledge it. And you know what? I need to clean up my own issues. So, so the 11th step in my recovery program, you know, and, and I don't look at my steps in recovery like they're scripture. You know, it, it's, it's a program of recovery. It's, it's what we do as a group to, for, like for me, you know, stop alcohol, stop drugs, stop that, that crazy behavior. But that 11th step says that I, that I am to, uh, that I sought through prayer and meditation to improve my conscious contact with God, praying for the knowledge of His will and the power to carry that out. That step is huge. So I did some praying, I did some thinking, and I had some great counsel from, from a lot of the commenters on, on those videos. And you know what? I was wrong. Holy Spirit's telling me, Paul, you know what? You need to clean yourself up. So <laughs> I'm going to do it. So I, like I said, I deleted those videos, and it is time um, for us to get a little bit better. It looks like my daughter is ready to go to church with me. Okay. Yay! So, yep. So I'm going to head on to church. And, uh, yeah, you look great. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We get together about a half an hour before service and we worship God and we just spend some time in worship before we go on stage and and play worship music for you know our community so I just think it's special it's something that I love to do so hopefully the, the footage turns out and uh, yeah you guys are awesome <laughs>
playing this weekend, I trip across at this the church. So my church is actually that building right there. I don't know if you can kind of see that. So I just found this in Intersound. I'm not quite sure what it is. And it's in instrument voicing preamp. So um, yeah. And then so I start rip, ripping into their dumpster at, at this other church. Oops. Quite what I want to do here. And ta-da, I found a computer. It's a little bit of ice still left on it. And there's some other stuff in here. Some regular trash and pizza and things like that. But there's also construction and other debris. But yeah, got another computer. So I don't know, I think I got 30 computers at my house and storage unit now. So I, it's almost time for me to tear these apart and figure out what to do with my e-waste because it's starting to pile up. So what got me attention, got my attention was this rug here. And this is the same church that gave me a bunch of wire. Uh, they literally uh, sent me a, a Facebook text. Can't throw away wet paint because that'll get in everything. So, 